Hello, this is Bishop Rice, taking the opportunity to discuss and to invite you to participate in our diocesan-wide synod on synodality. Our Holy Father recently announced that he would like this process to involve the entire church. And so this is an historic moment, not just for our diocese, but for the Catholic Church throughout the world. What is the Synod? Well, first, it is nothing new. There have been gatherings of bishops and the faithful throughout the 2,000-year history of the Church. And typically, bishops and laity have gathered to discuss issues of concern such as persecution, theological misunderstandings, or the need for a clarification of Church teachings. Since 1967, the Church has held a synod of bishops approximately every two or three years to examine issues facing the Church. At each of the synods, bishops have consulted with members of the clergy, religious, and the laity. However, Pope Francis wants this synod to be a time of listening of the entire people of God, and that includes you. It is his hope that the Synod will involve all the people of God, grounded in the Holy Scriptures, with hearts open to the Holy Spirit, to help us move forward discerning the signs of the times. Again, this is nothing new. In 1975, Pope Paul VI challenged the Church, reminding us the conditions of the society in which we live oblige all of us to revise methods to seek by every means to study how we can bring the Christian message to modern society. It was Pope Paul VI who asked what methods should be followed in order that the power of the gospel may have its effect. With the decline in sacramental practice and the rise of those who do not believe, this question needs to be asked and we have the responsibility to discover the answers in order to make the church grow and draw people back to an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. The Synod on Synodality is a two-year international process, with the final Synod of Bishops taking place in October of 2023. We have just entered the diocesan phase of the Synod. And to tell you the truth, this call for the Synod could not happen at a better time the Diocese of Springfield, Cape Girardeau. We recently completed the task of updating our norms for the Parish Pastoral Council, which had not been revised since 1997. And through the good work of my predecessor, Bishop James Johnson, the Diocese identified the three diocesan priorities of growing in holiness, forming intentional disciples, and being sent forth to witness. Our diocesan priorities are crucial. We must stay focused on ways to grow in our relationship with Jesus. As Bishop Tobin of Providence, Rhode Island stated, if the synod process is to bear fruit, it has to focus on the person of Jesus Christ, gospel values, and a spiritual vision, and eliminate complex structures, mind-boggling instructions, and secular corporate language. And so in reviewing and updating our norms, we tried to take on the spirit of St. Pope Paul VI, along with the spirit of St. John Paul II, Pope Benedict, and Pope Francis, who each in their own way have called the church to a new evangelization. Their good work will guide our participation in the Synod for the Diocese of Springfield, Cape Girardeau. How will our diocesan phase of the Synod be organized? First, there is training being offered from the diocese for those who are serving our parishes as small group dialogue facilitators. Then each parish will gather their people and follow a consultation process that promotes small group listening sessions. Each participant in the consultation process is invited to speak freely about their experience of parish life and give their insights as to how the parish can better journey together through holiness, discipleship, and witness. We will be respectfully listening to one another, encouraging one another, opening our minds and hearts to learn from one another, and praying with each other. Once these consultation sessions are completed, 
Each parish will turn in a written report to our diocesan office, which will then be included in a report submitted to the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops and finally sent on to the Synod Committee in Rome. While we are excited about participating in the international dialogue and discernment process, I am more eager to see the immediate and more localized fruits of the Holy Spirit manifested through the synod process in our diocese. The insights we gain from our time of listening and praying together will help us to discern how we may journey forward together in our parishes of the Diocese of Springfield Cape Girardeau. I thank you for accepting the invitation to join in this important and exciting conversation. May God bless our efforts to strengthen the church in Southern Missouri.